Now let's learn how to use Magic Morph in Magic Studio. So Magic Morph actually uses a text prompt to transform the appearance of your words and shapes into anything the user would like to see. So this will include new colors, textures, and many more. And for you to be able to get started onto using Magic Morph, you'll just gonna head here onto the Canva website, onto the create a design, and you should be able to see the different suggested options onto what you would like to do. So you're just gonna go ahead and try to choose from that, or you could start creating from your media. You could import your file in here or you could choose from the different files that you have uploaded already or you could go ahead and try to use this custom size just add in the width height and then just click on to create new design right after so for us to be able to proceed we're just gonna go ahead and try to choose a template in here and then we'll get redirected onto the canvas now to use a magic morph let's gonna go ahead and try to add in a text onto our canvas so we're gonna go ahead and try to click onto text and then right after you could just choose the different text styles in here you could just add a text box so we're gonna do that one here and then you'll just need to write in your text so for this example let's try to write in in here magic then we're just going to resize this one out. Let's make this one bigger. Actually, you'll have different options here onto the upper part. Like you could choose a different font, the font size, and then you could also choose from the different font styles in here. But for us to be able to use it, Magic Morph here onto the left side, if you scroll down here onto the bottom part, you should be able to see apps. So we're going to go ahead and try to click onto that. And then you'll need to search for the Canva app that we want to use, which is Magic Morph. So you could browse onto the different apps and here you could discover what is new but for us to be able to have it easily search we're just going to go ahead and try to search and here magic morph but as you can see we can see already the feature in here we're just going to go ahead and try to click onto that so as you can see this is created by canva and there is a quick description onto it so this will turn elements of your design into something extraordinary so you could just transform your words and shapes with a simple written prompt, use it to enhance text or shape, quickly create graphics and textures, or spark creative ideas. So by using this, you should agree to the terms and services and privacy policy and permissions of Canva. So we're going to go ahead and try to click on to open to use this feature. So the first thing that we'll need to do is select an element in your design. So we have magic. So we only have this one, but if you have other things in here, you could actually choose that. So you could also add in an example element, for example, want to add this pop. We could go ahead and try to choose that one so if you have different option you'll just have to click onto that so we're just gonna go ahead and try to use magic in here and then right after we're gonna describe what we would want it to look like so for instance i want to see this onto a fire thing fire and blue so we're gonna use that one and you could also try in some examples in here and then we're gonna go ahead and try to click onto magic morph so that we'll see what it will generate so we'll just have to wait for that now as you can see here are the different photos that it generated so i kind of don't like how this one turns out since we are not really that specific onto our prompt so we could go ahead and try to create again so that you should generate a new one but we could go ahead and try to fix also our prompt in here so that it would really give us something that we would want to see so for example we're gonna go ahead and type in here matte blue balloon so we're gonna go ahead and try to see what it will give us so let's try to see if the font will look like a balloon so we're gonna go ahead and try to click magic morph and let's try to see what it will give us now as you can see it generated us other option if you have noticed as well we've gone ahead and try to change the font style that we have in here so if you change the font the generation would change as well in here so you could just choose onto the different options that it has given us and if you don't like how it looked like you could just go ahead and try to create again so that it will generate another four and if you're satisfied already you'll just have to click onto that and then right after you'll have the option to have this onto your canvas so you could just go ahead and try to resize that and then you'll have also the option to share it and then right after you could download this and try to choose a file type so you're just going to go ahead and do that, choose a file type, and then once you're done, you're just going to go ahead and click on to download. And that's just basically it on how to use Magic Morph on Magic Studio in Canva.